Welcome to this new how-to. With Flight Simulator 2024 around the corner, well, mostly around the corner, right? We still need to wait until November. I was just thinking about, okay, hey, maybe some of you are planning to buy a new computer and you would like to move your existing Flight Simulator 2020 installation to that new machine. So based on that, I thought, okay, let's record a video about how to do that. So the first thing, what is most important to do to avoid, I would say, a large re-download, unless you like testing your internet connection, of course, is to make a backup of certain folders. So to do that, what you need to do is you need to go to your local app data folder. So let me quickly show it. So what you can do is go to your uh, local app data folder, uh, which will bring you to uh, the hidden folder normally. Uh, but this is a trick, how it works. And then you can go to uh, packages. And in that case, you can go to the flight simulator directory, which contains the uh, local cache, which eventually contains the packages folder. So the packages folder contains most of the content, right? So uh, I would say if you have it and if you backup it, it's great because it can contain a lot of items. However, it could also be that it's completely empty because you might have moved those items. So for those who are not aware how to move those items, what you can do is you can go to the uh, user config.opt file and then make a change in that, I would say, file, right? So let me open it. If it opens, uh, and with Notepad, here we go. And this is the file, right, which I would say contains several sections. It contains sections about the video, but also about the graphic settings. But if you scroll completely to the end of the file, which is here, that's where you can find the location where Flight Simulator puts all its packages. Because the base installation of Flight Simulator, that's not too much data. However, those packages, those are, I would say, uh, the disk uh, space consuming files. So in my case, it's MSFS, right? So if I would uh, zoom out and if I would go to that folder, uh, which is located in the root of my uh, C drive, that's where I can find both the community as well as the official folder. So if I would back up this folder and move it to the new machine, uh, then I have already have a lot of data, right? So once you then start Flight Simulator, you can simply point to this folder, which will prevent that you need to re-download a lot of stuff. And to, or say, to say, okay, hey, how much time do you save? Well, that really depends, right? If you look at the official folder, if I go to the uh, properties folder and then see how much data in it is in it, you can see that this would say, well, it's pretty large, right? It's, if you would need to re-download all this stuff, then it will likely take some time depending of course on your internet speed and this is only the uh, i would say official folder right this isn't even the i would say official uh, or the community folder i must say that i've installed all the world updates but as you can see it's well where shall we end well pretty close to 400 gigabyte that's a lot of time uh, downloading depending again on your internet speed so if you buy a new pc simply make sure that you're backupping this folder or the folder which I showed you earlier, right? So let me go a few steps back. So if you go to the uh, Flight Simulator official directory, if you did make the modification, then simply back up this complete directory and then move it over to your new machine. Then you might ask, okay, hey, what about my key bindings and what about some other stuff? Normally, if you would log in using your account, using the same account, it should pick up those settings so you don't need to worry about that. Uh, same thing is applicable to your progress that should all be tied to your microsoft account uh, unless it's been screwed up uh, hopefully not uh, so that's all the things you need to do so pretty easy way to let's say move over your existing flight simulator folder or your flight simulator content i should say and prevent a major a re-download being triggered if you install it on a new machine so here ends this video where we looked at how to move your existing flight simulator installation to a new machine uh, with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 around the corner. It could save you a lot of time. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to move them or to place them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos and posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. 
Thanks for watching and see you next time.